Hello everybody, how are we doing today? Man, have I been through some shit lately. But it sure as hell doesn't stop me from recording a video. Mm-hmm. People need the song snobs to react to the great music, or to the shit music as it were. Because some of the music will be shit. It'll be very low rated in the monocles. The item most associated with snobbery in my mind. So as a song snob, it's monocles. How many minute monocles is today's artist going to earn? Well, let's see now. Who are we reacting to today? Oh, <gasps> yay! It's my all-time favorite, perfect, most excellent Pink Floyd knockoff in the whole wide world, Church of the Cosmic Skull. It's my favorite band to react to. I've done lots of their videos, and they will be a major fixture on this channel. Later this week, I'm still going to be reacting to um, actual Pink Floyd. Um, I think I've got some rappers. I got John Five and the Creatures. I got um, the S yes Who, and I got Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Clan. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be reacting to some rap. Why not? Ain't got no reason not to. Mm hmm. So, shall we begin with Church of the Cosmic Soul, Mountain Heart? And go.
boy, I hope I can remain unbiased here and give a fair rating. Because you know what? The combination of stress hormones and Heineken is such that um, it just makes everything seem so much more funnier and so much better and so much more awesome. So the thing, honestly, was there any uh, flaw or anything that stands out in this? Not really. It was nice straight ahead. The pacing was regular. It was perfect for its length. And it just satisfied so much of the normal things that I look for in music. It was full. It was complete. It didn't feel weak in any way. It was literally perfect. Almost too perfect. Sorry, I got food in my teeth. Because I was hungry. <clears throat> so on the music level, this is five monocles. Easy. So let's see if the if the, uh, the lyrics fall short, then the music can elevate the lyrics, and they can keep their five monocle rating. Okay, it says... Oh, from within the mountain heart, you never see the day again. On a winter's night, I heard a sound so cruel. And by the moon, I saw that it was you. Dancing on the wind, you'd flit from all you knew. So run amok, my child. So, <clears throat> so I guess they're saying that if you live in the heart of the mountains, you'll never see the day again because you're sort of living out in the mountains where it's remote. It says, uh, on a winter's night, you heard a cruel sound, and by the moon I saw that it was you. You were, you know, making a cruel sound under moonlight. It was a very uh, romantic, poetic sort of description of a, sea of a scene. Dancing... <clears throat> Dancing from the wind, you fled from all you knew, so run amok, my child. It's like, go, my child, you're running amok, go! Won't you hear me when I say the song that seemed to play from within the mountain heart, you never see that the day again. When the autumn came, the trees all seemed to die, but by the... Well, yeah, that's what happens in autumn. The leaves fall and all that, but by the moon I saw they, they were alive. Dancing on the wind, the snow fall, fall told a lie. Well, yeah, because spring always comes back around, man. The Earth reborn. It's always temporary. Always comes back. A little peace of mind. Might say that I was wrong, but I swear I heard the song from within the mountain heart. You never see the day again. Oh, from within the mountain heart, you never see the day again. Never again from within the mountain heart, you never see the day again. Oh, from within the mountain heart. When I see the morning sun, I no longer need to run. I know the song will come from within the mountain heart. So I guess they're saying that someone is, someone or something is on their way back and they just have to be patient. And realizing that gives them a certain peace of mind. Oh yeah, no, that's a lot of the time with the uh, esoteric beliefs and things like reincarnation and the rebirth of summer. As according to uh, pagans, particularly Greek pagans, was sort of the thing. Yeah, it, it, the lyrics just keep going. So yeah, it's a wonderfully poetic description. And it's also very coherent, very relatively easy to figure out. So this is just a five monocles all the way around. God, these guys are amazing. They have that, had at least one really disappointing song that was more than it could have been. I think the song Is Satan Real was the one that I was most disappointed with. So, all in all, these, these guys are just incredible. I can't believe how good they are, sometimes. That is not to say they are perfect, they have songs that fall a little short. But these guys are high-caliber musicians. They're, they've become my absolute favorite uh, band of 2020, or, or the, this last or current decade, since the 21st century. It, it's, you know, new to this century. It's incredible. The song snob is satisfied. Yes, quite. Anyway, that's all about all. Peace.